shuffle the cards when you're done shuffling you place the cards on the table or the floor face down each player picks a card and sum up the value on it the first player has x and 5 that's 15 the second player has ii and 100 or 102 the third player has xx and 2 that's 22 while the fourth player has m and 20 1020 you arrange the players based on their numbers and that's what you have here then they will change their sitting arrangement to suit this so that player one will be seated beside two and they will be able to play in that order players have now changed their sitting position so that player one is beside two two is beside three and three is beside four okay these are all the players with their cards there are four types of cards nigeria egypt seychelles and south africa the players will pick one of each player one as seychelles egypt south africa then nigeria player two as seychelles egypt nigeria and south africa player three as egypt seychelles south africa nigeria player four south africa nigeria seychelles and egypt so all the four players have their four cards there's a card in the pack it has african map on one side and nigeria map on the other side because it has no value on it it can be played anyway it's empty so he assumes the value of the card you place beside it if you place it beside two that side will be two let's play place the cards face down player one played m and 20 m is 1000 while 20 is xx player two must have either m or 1000 xx or 20 but if you look at player two's cards unfortunately player two doesn't have any of this so player two will lose a turn how do you lose a turn player two will drop one of the cards underneath the deck of cards and pick the one on top not minding the the flag player three will play now fortunately player three has xx xx matches 20. you see the essence of the game if you don't know your roman numerals you cannot play it xx is 20. okay player three will replace the card played player four is to play player four can play either m or 1000 xx or 20 2 or ii it doesn't it doesn't have to play after the last thing player four doesn't have oh no you can see some of the cards in the deck have faced up that's wrong shuffling okay it wasn't arranged well so player four lost a turn back to player one does player one have something to play do you know yes in fact multiple things multiple cards to play m can be placed beside m player one has replaced the card played it's now player two's turn to play two and two fine this player will replace the card no minding the flag the next player can play anywhere vacant vii is what eight this player is replacing the card the next player can play anywhere also let's check does this player have what to play
one is I good you can place it there or there anywhere but when placing your card it's best you play in a way to create space for other other people and even yourself probably so don't let it be all choked up spread it out you can use multiple tables or use the floor this player is playing i i i beside three the next player does the next player i want to play do you want to guess yes pause and guess okay yep i i and two it could have been played in that first place and then or here either way is fine because there are more cards the next player may take a while to figure out where to play but the best thing is start searching for where to play when other players are playing okay so you can see c c is 100 it can be placed there you replace your card next player has found a card place the one beside i and replace the card repeat this process till you exhaust the cards in the deck now every player has three cards each left the game is about to end at this stage if you don't have where to play you lose a turn but you don't return your card you keep it to yourself all right you won't just play and then it continues like that this player has eight but it can't it can be played this way because x is not six okay so you place it this way or this way or this way yes there's a space between the six and 40 so it can be played that way but let's play it this way all right this player is playing the africa map and nigeria map card so that particular space is now two because it's is beside two and then next player since they are not picking any more cards one person will exhaust the card first that person is the winner so the first person to exhaust his or her card is the winner one major importance this game has is that it helps you to practice roman numerals you can't play this game if you don't know the value of each roman numeral and since children love games game is one of those things you can help them to practice in a fun way if you enjoyed this video please give us a thumbs up share and subscribe remember to also turn on your notification bell if you want roman numeracy card game click lifematics.com.ng shop 